What's up? It's been a while, very, very while. Um, Showtime here, NBA talk, off season. Like we're pretty much very close to into October soon. We're starting uh, almost late September. Um, basically, like in October, the preseason is gonna start. Then the NBA season will start in November. So we don't have much time to go in. So I'm trying to do this more quickly. So right now, as promised, I'm going to talk about practically uh, one of the most disappointing seasons, off seasons, so far in the year. Probably the most disappointing right next to the Trailblazers, the Dallas Mavericks. Like, if you if you haven't been on the rock, if you have not noticed. Um, if you n haven't been in the NBA news, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, DeAndre Jordan has been the talk of the show this off season. Um, basically, he decided to go with uh, with the Dallas Mavericks in a verbal agreement. A verbal agreement. He did not sign with them. And apparently he just did a swerve and went straight back to Clippers. And Dallas is just left high and dry, like with not a permanent center. Uh, which I will get into. Um, but basically they were just left high and dry. Chandler Parsons uh, was talking about it. Um, it was just, it's a sad story. So. So let's go into who they've lost. Who they've lost. So they've lost Al Aminu. They lost Tyson Chandler. They lost Monty Ellis. They lost Richard Jefferson. They lost Rajon Rondo, which was expected because I would never have picked him up anyway if I was the Dallas Mavericks. And they lost Amari Stoudemire. They lost a lot of key players. And a lot of role players. Um, so they try to do their best to, uh, to try to make up for what they've lost. It what it wasn't that much great, but I'll get into how much I can. So let me go into what they retained. They retained Raymond Felton, point guard. Well, he opted in. This guy could be a solid backup or a solid. Um, he who could play a uh, starter if he wanted to but isn't that great JJ Beretta been a uh, like pretty much a home team for the Dallas Mavericks a whole time hero well not a whole time hero but a hero nonetheless four years 16 million uh, I wouldn't say I would put him as the point guard as managing doing playmaking scoring I would say yes but playmaking no um, you got Charlie Villanova back for one year, 900 mil. This guy played actually well, even though he didn't have much playing time. That's That was pretty much the key. And I think he's going to have much more playing time since now Amari Stoudemire is gone, Tyson Chandler has gone. You're going to need somebody to get back up. I, I think he might even well get a a starting spot. I'm not know for sure because I don't know if they have a, a permanent uh, power forward because I know they do not have a permanent foul, power forward. So let's hope to see. Uh, so now let's get into who they gotten in, in free agency. They got Dion Deron Williams from the uh, Brooklyn Nets if the if you haven't uh, known pretty much he was bought out uh, they paid him his money and sent him away because this guy has been injury prone ever since he came to the Nets even before they came to Brooklyn this guy has been injury prone like I don't think he ever had a, a full season ever or a decent season where he has been healthy, his legs, especially, like, he's always getting hurt. 
now he's looking for redemption, trying to fill in for um for the Raja Rondo who wasn't that really much good because let's face it, the Dallas Mavericks hadn't had a a real solid point guard since Calderon or Jason Kidd left. This is all they have. So, so they, you have Dion Williams, you have um, Raymond Felton behind you, and then you have um, JJ Brea behind you. So you have three guys who can play, but not as much, but they can still play. And so this is redemption time for Dion, uh, Deron Williams. So let's see. Uh, he he's back for two years, eleven million. So he's not there for the long haul, but I guess this is gonna be temporarily to see if he can um re rejuvenate himself. So we have also uh, Wesley Matthews, who's gonna probably fill in for Monte Ellis leaving. He's back for four years, seventy million. A big payday for him because if he was in. Trailblazers, he would have deserved it, and I would say he still deserves it in Dallas. But now the question is, um, is he going to be the same Wesley Matthews have we seen for years with the Trailblazers? Because this guy just coming off a Achilles a ruptured Achilles, we don't know what's going to happen with him. Um, is he going to be in form? We don't know. So he's back. He is here for the long haul for the Dallas. Um, we have a first round pick in Justin Anderson. Don't know much about him. Hopefully he could fill, uh, be a good backup for Wesley Matthews. We also have John Jenkins. Three years, 3.2 million. Uh, pretty much another reserve. Pretty much a reserve player. We'll see what he can do because I think he will uh, he's gonna be utilized in this situation so let's see um, Jeremy Evans from the Utah Jazz two years 3.3 .3 million this guy has been a prospect for the long haul for the uh, Dallas Mavericks and uh, I mean the Utah Jazz and I guess they gave up on him and let him go now this guy is still we still don't know what he can do. I don't think he has ever had that much playing time. Uh, which is we'll we'll see because maybe you just need a new uh, a new place to be in. And I can see that he might be behind Charlie Novo Villanova being a backup. We'll see. Um, okay, now get into the center role. Like I said before, Tyson Chandler is gone. He is gone. I'm surprised they let him go. Because, but just for the sake of knowing that they were trying to go after DeAndre Jordan, DeAndre Jordan, sorry, it's respectable. I just wish they had gotten a solid, a more solid center. I wish there was someone available that's a great solid center. But right now they have Samuel Dallenberg who has been a good starting uh, backup who's been a good backup for many years in um, Houston and other places one year 1.4 million I think his, this is going to be his last year before he goes into the sunset so he's not going to be there for the long haul he's going to be gone then you have Zaza Bakilia one year 5.2 million so they're just pretty much experimenting with these guys Zaza Bakilia had been a starting um, center for the Bucks ever since Sanders I believe Larry Sanders went down um, the center for the Bucks well well there was some issue with him so I don't know so Zaza Bakilia is probably going to be the starting lineup I do not like it because I don't think this guy is going to be I think he he he's a great backup but not to a point where he he should be a permanent starting center. So, I don't know. So that's that's pretty much it for the Dallas Mavericks. There's not much to it. They got eliminated the first round thanks to Rondo being 
Well, I want to say it's just all on Rondo. They're just not good communication because I thought they had a solid team when you went into the playoffs. And I will say that uh, Chanson, uh, Chandler Parsons was injured for most of the season. Now this time he needs to make up for it because now a lot of the shooting is going to be put on him. He and Davinsky are going to be the, probably the uh, the main um, options for the Dallas Mavericks. So let's see. Um, and that's pretty much it. You have Wesley Matthews. We we don't know what uh, condition he is in. If he's 100 percent, if well at least some percentage of of him returning form, you have something there. You don't have that much solid um, centers. I think these are experiments. They they're trying to look for uh, a better center. I don't think they're gonna make the playoffs. I think they're gonna they're gonna struggle to try to make the eighth spot. I would, I, I would like to take that back. I, I wouldn't say they're not going to make the playoffs, but it's going to be a waste of time if they do, because they're going to get this demolished because they just do not have the personnel, they do not have the players to do so. They don't have a solid roster to go in. You have Dion Williams. We don't know what condition he's going to be in. Focusing is going off again. Um, we have a couple of questionable players. Just the impact of the loss of so many players is great. Rondo, Monte Ellis, Otto Amino, Tyson Chandler, Richardson, Richard Jefferson, Almari Stoudemire. So many people gone. This is practically one of the. They're going to have a, a very hard time. And let's see. We don't even know how much Davinsky had has in the um in the tank and he has he played well last year he's been healthy most of the year so we don't know we don't know it's an untold future for the Dallas Mavericks I hope well for them because they they have been a great franchise for years for the past decade a championship one finally for Dallas Mavericks so we don't know so that's pretty much it next up is going to be the memphis grizzlies so check it out